This is a, a chart that shows how fast in vehicle and infotainment systems are growing. 17% uh, CAGR, even in this environment with depressed automotive, automotive sales. One of the things that's happened is that these, these systems in the past have been islands. Each manufacturer tended to use their own system, and they would rebuild the entire base of that system generation after generation. They too are seeing the benefits of a consistent, persistent architecture. And one of the things that many of the automotive manufacturers and the suppliers to that industry have come together on is a new alliance called Genevi, which is focused on creating interoperable standards for in-vehicle infotainment across the automotive industry. There's a lot of players in this, in, this, uh, in this consortium today. One of them is a company called Carmen Becker that Intel's been working with for over three years now. They are a leader in uh, the in-vehicle infotainment um, space, focusing on, on significant multimedia experiences in the car. They've chosen Atom for their high-performance <coughs> designs. Today, I'm very happy to announce that Harman has secured two pretty big design wins for Atom-based systems, BMW and Daimler. 